Howdy Tinker Nerds, this is the common show for how to make a self-replicating virus. If you haven't seen it, you know what to do. <coughs> Sorry, I think I have a virus. Hopefully it's not self-replicating. Whoa, that's weird. Okay, as promised in that video, here's an extended version that shows you some more cool things that you can do with our program. Enjoy. Alright, let's look at the comments. Hey Tinkernut, awesome video, but your virus is more like a worm, isn't it? After some thorough research, I have found that yes, this would be considered a worm and not a virus. A virus attaches itself to critical system programs on your computer. But actually, I think a more accurate description of what we created would be to classify it as a backup program. You do know that you can do this with a batch file very simply, right? Allow me to let you in on a little secret. You can actually do this in basically any programming language. This may shock a lot of you, but I'm not really teaching people how to make a virus here. I'm teaching people the basics of programming in a way that should make people more interested in it. But it's surprising how the use of the word virus automatically makes the video more interesting. Either that, or it makes people hate the whole video before they even watch it. Speaking of which... Thank you. We don't have enough viruses today. Let's teach kids how to make new ones. Yes, I apologize for teaching kids how to copy files from one location to another using Python. Despite the fact that what I showed is already general programming knowledge, and anybody with the slightest background in programming already knows how to do this. But you're right. Let's just keep our kids ignorant. And let's hope that they never learn how to go and read Wikipedia to get this same knowledge. Oh, so you want us to hack now. Hack to learn, not learn to hack. I'm not sure if you're interpreting hack correctly, because I'm failing to see anything in this video that was actually a hack. Also, just to be clear, I hate viruses. That's why I decided to learn more about them, because the more you learn about viruses, the better you can protect yourself from them. So it still applies that I did not learn to make a virus. I made a virus so that I could learn. If you want to run this on any other computer, you need Python installed too. Yes, and I apologize for not mentioning that in the video. If you do intend to run this on any other computer but your own, Python has to be installed. Teach how to clone itself through sound waves. It's really funny that you should mention that because last week I started out with the intention of making a video about how to transfer data through sound, but I just couldn't get it to work. So halfway through the week, I decided to make this video instead. So if you are curious about how to send data over sound, I've posted some of the links for my research in the video description. And lastly, just a tip, place your advertisement only at the end. So I wanted to toss that question back to you guys. Did it bother you that I mentioned my donation page at the beginning of the video, or would you prefer it if I put it at the end of the video? Speaking of the end of the video, I've decided to use the tagline where technology and creativity collide. Now, I've been using this in the animation at the beginning of my video for a while, and I do like it, and it kind of sums up what I do and my mission, so hopefully I can stick to just using this tagline instead of a plethora of other ones. All right, guys, thanks very much for the comments, and for more, go to tinkernut.com, where technology and creativity collide.